September 3rd, St. Pius X, Pope, born Joseph Sarto on June 2nd, 1835, in the little village of Ries, in the upper area of Italy, he was tenth of nine other children, two of whom died as infants. When his father died, his mother supported herself and the children by the work of sewing and the products of the small farm. Joseph Sarto, after attending high school, went on to the seminary at Padua and was ordained on September 18th in the year 1858. He was successively village curate in Tombolo, where he instituted a night school for adults, a parish priest in Salzano, chancellor of the diocese of Trevisio, then bishop of Mantua, and finally cardinal patriarch of Venice in the year 1893. After ten years, he was elected pope to succeed Leo XIII. As pope, he labored for the renovation of the Christian spirit in keeping with his motto, to restore all things in Christ. The name of Pius X is commonly and rightly associated with the purging of the church of that synthesis of all heresies or modernism. A decree of the Holy Office in 1907 condemned certain writers and propositions, and it was soon followed by an encyclical letter wherein the far-reaching, dangerous tendencies were laid out and examined, and manifestations of modernism in every field were pointed out and condemned. Strong disciplinary measures were also taken, and though there were some fierce opposition, modernism was practically killed in the church with one blow. Among the other outstanding works of his pontificate was the permission for children to approach the Eucharist at a tender age, and the general encouragement given to all with the proper dispositions to go to daily communion. From his tender years throughout his papacy, and unto his dying hour, his life of deep inner prayer reflected in his countenance and won the reverence and affection of all. His life as Pope lasted until the year 1914, when at the outbreak of World War I, which he had foreseen, he went peacefully to his reward. According to his doctor, before he died, he said, I am offering my miserable life as a holocaust to prevent the massacre of so many of my children. Then in that early morning on August 20th, 1914, with the names of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph on his lips, he breathed his last. In his will, he stated that he wanted to be buried in St. Peter's, and he did not want his body embalmed. In 1944, when his body was exhumed, it was found to be excellently preserved. Pius X was beatified by Pius XII on September 3, 1950, and he was canonized on May 29, 1954, by that same pope. A Catholic life is centered about the Eucharist. If we bring to Holy Communion the spirit of piety of St. Pius X, this sort of grace will be for us a veritable tree of life, providing health, nourishment, and strength for our souls.